Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,234. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,232 to 1,234 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1,231, we did a VLOOKUP to 36 tables. Actually, our last video, 1,232, we did VLOOKUP with 36 tables, and we used Power Query to transform 36 tables into a single table. But this video here, 1231 had a bunch of comments, including Kevin, who has an awesome YouTube channel. And he created this video right here. You got to go look at it about how to solve this problem with a helper column. Again, we have 36 lookup tables, and we need to look up the discount rate. Now, I actually changed it up a little bit because Kevin did a good job in that video of solving the original problem. And if we go back and look at this example, the original problem, it said table 1 colon and then West Freestyle. Table 2, West Bellin Group. So that table 1 colon cause some problems. If we just had the actual region and the product group, it wouldn't be as hard. So again, Kevin's video shows you how to deal with the original problem. But here's the deal. Why, why name it table one, table two? Let's just call it region and product group. And then there's a much easier way to do this. I'm going to insert an extra column, right click, insert, and watch this. Every single one of the region and product group has an underscore. So I'm going to use the search function, and I'm going to find the text double quote, underscore double quote, comma, within one cell to my left. Now, this is not it, but let's Control Enter, Control C, and I'm going to scroll down. And then at the very last cell right here, before I click, in A223, I'm going to hold Shift and then click in A223, Control V. Now notice what this does, it always says, hey, that's in the fifth position, fifth position. So there's always a number that tells us where the underscore. And we're actually not interested in the position of the underscore, which is what search does. We're just interested in the fact that this is a number. Now watch this. I'm actually going to convert this to an array formula in a really crazy way. I'm going to colon B9. And I'm going to lock the first cell reference. So this is an expandable range. B9 is locked, but this other B9 is not. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, it's not going to show us anything here. But let's go down a few cells and hit F2, highlight. And because in the within text argument, we gave it multiple cells, this is a function argument array operation. Search will spit out multiple answers. And watch this F9 to evaluate it. We have a 5 and a 5. But notice what's important here is this is spitting out an array. There's a 5, a bunch of errors, and an array. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the original cell, and I'm going to do a lookup and always get the last number. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, if I use approximate match lookup and give the lookup value as some number bigger than any number in the array, it'll always get the last one. What's important about this is if we come up here and highlight this in F9, you can see it's just giving me a 5, right? So it would get the first item in the list. But if I do a lookup down here with this expandable range, F9, if I give it some big number to look up, it'll always get the position of the last one. Notice. As I go down the column, F9, the last number will always indicate the position in the array of the thing I want to get and look up, which is region and product group. So watch this. I'm not going to use VLOOKUP. I'm going to use the LOOKUP function. LOOKUP is amazing for all sorts of different reasons. One is, is that it only does approximate match lookup. And if I type a comma right here, this LOOKUP vector, I can get the position from that array right there comma and give it a separate result vector to look something up in. So watch this. I'm going to, for the lookup value, need to give it some number bigger than any possible number there. Well, search is finding the position of text in a text string. The largest number of characters that you can have in a cell is 2 caret 
15, 2 raised to the 15 minus 1. So that number right there is bigger than any possible number that search can ever spit out. So get this. We're looking up a big number. It'll find the position in lookup vector. And if you know how the match function works, match usually gets the position of an item in a list. That's in essence what the first two arguments in lookup does. And then we simply give it a result vector. But guess what? I'm just going to give it this expandable range. Because then it will always know to find the position of the last number, and then go over to the range and get the region and product group close parentheses, yeah, control it's enter, it's double click and send it down, double click between the column headers. you got to be kidding. It repeats exactly like we need. If we're going to have a helper column with a unique identifier to help us look up the product and the discount rate, we need to know region product group, region product group. Because remember, over here, when we're doing a VLOOKUP, we have the information from the transaction to allow us to go over and look region, product group, and product. Oh, that means I need to do one last thing to this formula in our first column of our new lookup table. In the active cell at the top with the range still highlighted, I'm going to hit F2. I'm simply going to join it to B9, which is one cell to my left. Now, I've edited the formula to populate it all the way down. I'm going to hold Control and Enter. Now, double click. Notice the only three we're interested in are region, product group, and our new product. This one and these two here are ridiculous. But our formula will never run into one of those because we're always going to have region, product group, and product. So if I'm looking for something fast and easy, that will work. Now notice region, product group, and product. We have an underscore and then nothing. So when we come over to our lookup formula, and I'm going to Control and Roll over here, I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. Very carefully, I'm going to get the region and then join it to double quotes, underscore, double quotes, and then join it to product group. And now I'm going to join it to, with nothing between it, the product. And lo and behold, inside my VLOOKUP and the lookup value argument, if I hit F9 to evaluate it, now I have exactly what I want, region, underscore, product group and product, control Z, because we don't want to hard code that in, comma. And our table, I simply highlight our new first column and the two other columns, control shift down L, F4. And that whole table will work perfectly. But notice now we have one, two, three. So the third column, comma, three, has the item I want to go and get and bring back to the cell. So I put a three, comma, zero, because I'm doing an exact match, close parentheses. And that VLOOKUP with our new helper column lookup table will work perfectly. Zero Control three, Enter, three. double click, and send it down. That is absolutely amazing. We went ahead and did VLOOKUP with a join lookup value, created a formula over here to have our helper column with lookup and search. Thanks to our awesome online Excel team. Thanks to Kevin in this video here for the little bit harder situation. And then this helper column when we had smarter table names. All right, we'll see you next trick.